Hello and welcome back everyone, and today I'm excited to announce that I have added yet another deadly element to the powder toy. That's right, the goos weren't enough. Today I wanted to try my hand at making something nuclear, so I did a quick google and it looks like unantrium is, is the most unstable nuclear element that we've discovered thus far, at least from a quick google search. Obviously we don't know much about it because it's only been synthesized in labs in tiny amounts, so I get to take some liberties on literally everything about it. <laughs> I needed a name, okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what my new element does when we put it down. So let's put one pixel down. You can see that it's warm, it's at about 60 degrees, but it's not really doing much, so let's add a little bit more, and now it's at a few hundred degrees because this bad boy is decaying rapidly faster than your brain matter watching this video. If we had a little bit more we can convince it- oh there we go! And now we're starting to get a little bit of molten unandrium, which obviously is the best version of unandrium. Oh! It looks like I poured over the sign here- oh! It's burned through a floor of the building. That's unfortunate. Um... Wow, it's- there, it, it went through another floor! <laughs> Now, just pay attention to the tiny amount that we've put. <laughs> and it's just it's just melting through the floors, one at a time. Going on to this nice couple's table. Hmm, darling, would you like to eat some Unum Trium? It's very expensive. Very rare. Ah, I see you've got good taste. It's quite spicy. Okay, so, so you guys can see, this stuff is absolutely nasty. Just a little bit of it put into the right context, and it's just boom, melted. Uh, you may want to see what happens when we put large amounts of it. Could it be used to make a bomb, you ask? Because that's all you want to see. I haven't actually tried it. However, I'd assume even if I put a massive shielding around it and only put a little bit, I'd assume the answer to that is going to be a big ol' yes. So let's see. Very quickly, it be oh. <laughs> We can't even contain it long enough to make a bomb out of it. We can't get pressure out of it. And then it just turns into plasma because the heat just is too high from the frickin' molten unadrium. It is, it is too violent to really be controlled. Look, it's just going into the ground now. Wow. This is brilliant. So a few things. We're not we're not really going in release mode, so I think the game's a little bit more laggy than it should be um, Which means testing is a little bit laggy, so I do apologize for that. However You'll notice that it's gone. There is no Unintrium left. That's because it's all dissolved already <laughs> Realistically it would be gone pretty much instantly because you can't actually make stable Unintrium but assuming we could, um, I mean, the small amount of time we get with it, though, is quite a bit of fun. I mean, look at the efficiency at which it rips through everything that's in its path. I mean, it's already down to the bunker layer, and it could probably even break through the bunker layer. Maybe? I mean, it's at several thousand degrees. It's just, it, it, it breaks down so quickly, it doesn't give us much time, you know? Much time to do great things. This stuff is excellent for setting off other reactions, though. Absolutely excellent. Let me give you a slight demonstration. If we create a new blank slate here, and first off, I just want to show you the destructive power of this. So let's go ahead and make an absolutely massive iron titanium chamber. And titanium conducts well, so we, we can count on it at least picking up some of the heat. Um, Let's go ahead and put some Monotrium in there, let it play, and immediately we have Molten, and quite literally seconds, seconds later, I think it's all degraded already, maybe? No, maybe it's sinking to the- oh, it's sinking to the bottom because it's just so damn heavy. Uh, but as you can see, it's- it's gone far. <laughs> it got all the way down to there. Now if we redo this same experiment, um, we redo the same experiment with plutonium and just hit it with some neutrons. I mean, the plutonium with the help of neutrons gets a bit of a bomb going, 
mostly because of the pressure, but at the same time, it's it's just it's not quite as violent. <laughs> not quite as violent. Although I would argue that it looks like it got a little bit hotter. <sighs> That's the issue with Unintrium. It just dies so quickly. Um, you can't get a like serious, serious reaction out of it if you don't have much of it, because it just murders itself so fast. But if we put a little bit more... <laughs> a little bit more... Uh, yeah. 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 Really, if you want to dig a hole, th this is the stuff for you. Like, if you want to breach a bunker, this is excellent. It will it will eat through anything you put in front of it. It doesn't care how thick the wall is. <laughs> it's just so heavy that it will fall, and it will fall beautifully and do a lot of damage during the process. If we put it on top of this, we could probably melt the entire damn enclosure. <laughs> uh, yeah, its weakness is that it. It's just so heavy, it can't really attack things in the upward direction. And let's go ahead and put a tiny bit of an Unintrium, I don't know, in here, and uh... Wow, it immediately sinks to the center of the planet, just because of its absolute... Like, just a tiny bit of it! And we've already destroyed part of the ocean and taken out trees, like... It really does not take much of this to do damage. And if it's not touching anything, it'll very quickly convert itself into plasma because it has nothing to send its heat energy to. <laughs> yeah, that's right. In space, it just literally becomes plasma. Like, you don't even have to set it up to be a bomb. It'll just become a bomb on its own. A very beautiful plasma bomb of death and destruction. Alright, so let's go ahead and put a mediocre amount of this inside of the planet and see what happens. It's going to the core of the planet very quickly as is expected, and holy guacamole! It's converted to plasma really quickly. Um, it kinda, it died, but it's taking out the entire planet with it. Holy moly. For comparison's sake, the amount we put in, if we put that much plutonium into this planet, like, nothing happens. We'd have to manually irradiate it with neutrons, and even then, I mean, we get that, which looks much worse on the surface, but notice how it's kind of focused over here, and it's taking far longer for it to affect the rest of the planet. I mean, the plutonium is a slower and more stable process, and it will slowly, slowly heat up and eventually do a little bit more damage, because it just survives longer. But now the question is, what if we mixed the two? <laughs> I'm thinking that a plutonium unantrium bomb. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do plut plutonium on the outside. And unantrium on the inside. Like, this should be really effective. Holy oh, guacamole! Maybe I should have put a thinner thinner edge on this so that it would actually explode a little bit better, but I think I think the point has been gotten across. That was very effective. Um, the entire planet is at thousands of degrees now. The entire thing. And the moon is gone, by the way. Just, just gone. Reduced to ashes. Fill partially with plutonium. Let that do its thing. And then we cover it with unantrium. Just a layer. And then we let it do its thing. We hit play. The unantrium goes on the bottom. It gets super spicy. It completely takes out the building under it. <laughs> and everything under it, for that matter. It's melting through things. I don't know if we really got much heat into the plutonium, though. It just went so quickly. 
I guess we will see what happens. I mean, granted, it did get down to the bunker layer rather quickly, and there is a ton of heat energy in this. An absolute ton. It's very localized, but it's certainly there, and it looks like it's still, right now, converting into plasma. Udentrium is not done yet. It's still pushing more and more heat. And we can actually see this in the heat display. Look at it go. Wow, 7,000 degrees. Granted, I, the, the plutonium alone could do the same thing, so we'll do a little bit of a test to see if it does the same thing. But I have a feeling it won't make it quite this far with just plutonium, at least not on the heat scale. Like, the bottom of this is 7,000 degrees. And, uh... It almost kind of looks like a proton bomb went off. It's not a proton bomb, I'm aware of that, but it almost looks like the same same fallout from it, because generally the proton bomb just takes out everything. Uh, and if we give this a little bit more time, it may actually take out everything on the surface. And um, I'm watching the corner here because it may actually breach the bunker as well. Which is far more interesting to me. Because that's actually challenging to do without the use of protons. And it, it looks like it's actually going to make it. Thousand degrees. We'll see if it breaks in. If it does, I'm gonna consider that pretty damn successful. Like I said before, I think that this is the bunker buster element. If you want to go towards gravity, uh, aka down, uh, this is the tool to get the job done. It will do it very happily and very efficiently. But can it get through that layer of insul- Oh, it's so close. Nah, it's got to. It's got to. So close. Wow. It may just miss it. But that's at 3,000 degrees. It's It's gotta break through. It's gotta break through. There's no way it won't. We're, we're, getting, we're getting molten brick and stuff down here. It's going through. It's gonna breach the bunker. Come on, baby. Come on! I invented you for this purpose, which means you will succeed at it. It's at 1300 degrees. That is... it's gotta be so... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. It, it's gotta be so close. And I just ruined it with ambient heat. Whoops. I did not mean to hit that button. I mean, that's molten. The only thing, there's just a tiny layer of insulation surviving. Jeez. Here it goes. Here it goes. That flute, that titanium is at 13, 14. Oh, it's gonna go out. It's gonna go out 14. Come on. 15. <laughs> It's so close. It's so close to melting. 16. Oh, come on. You know you want to melt. You know you want to melt. I don't even know what the melting point of titanium is, but we're getting close. I know it's below 2000. <gasps> it did it. <laughs> it's literally right against the insulation layer. Like, like it is on the edge. <laughs> This is all falling apart. Interesting. I, I thought it could get through this. Maybe uh, if there was a hole punctured in it, it would be dead immediately. This insulation layer is the only thing keeping it alive. And it literally just needs to spread. Like, if I put a single hole in here, it would be done. Single hole. Okay, maybe a little bit more than a single hole. Oh, it's cooling down now. Okay. Point being, this is a ton of damage. We'll try the same thing, um... No! Oh, I screwed up. Try the same thing with just a normal plutonium bomb, but I do not think... Uh, I'll even give it benefit of the doubt and give it a little bit more size. I, I don't think we're going to get anywhere near the same reaction. Or the same result, I should say. Plutonium goes big boom! 
boomy boomy boom boom ba boom 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 yay as you can see a lot of the force is being wasted going upwards we took out the same buildings gonna go down Although it did spend a little bit more going to the sides. Knocked out some more buildings over there. The temperature at the core of this is 4,000 degree. Oh, at the very core we're getting to 6,000, but it's, it's really not even... It's not even really close to the temperatures we were getting before. This is not going to be able to breach. Before, we had red. Thick red. Um, and I guess that's the point I want to make. When it comes to heat, you're not going to beat the Unum Trium. I'm almost curious if I just did a boatload of it. <laughs> I mean, sure, it'll plasma itself if I wait too long, but if it falls out and actually survives, like, what temperature is it? <laughs> Quite high is the answer. Quite a high temperature. It just doesn't have the explosive oomph. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more effective to be used in weaponry. Um, it does look really cool when it goes off, but uh, I feel like in order to give it a real proper use, I need to make it kill itself a little bit later. Um, it just turning into plasma uh, immediately is just too inhibitive of its purpose, so. I will see you all next time, hopefully with a better version of Ununtrium. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all then. Peace. Cool. Hello there. Uh, fun fact, I'm now selling Ununtrium as a, uh, hot sauce. at $5 for a bottle. That's actually a great deal considering it's super super rare and only existed a few points in like the entire history of the universe um the only issue is you'll probably die so let me know leave a like subscribe comment below see you all next time